YouTube, what's going on? I'm officially back with another video. The Joller Coaster's back. <laughs> but seriously, I've I've been taking a break, just a little break. I had to. After a while, you know, you gotta you gotta take a break every now and then. So I just took a break and I've been zoned in on finances and getting my finances right and focused. And sometimes you're like, you're just making YouTube videos every day and you can't really zone in. Like I'm an introvert anyway. So I, I try to zone in and sometimes I just, I can't be on social media like that. So I've just been taking a break from that. But also I wasn't on Seamer Attention. I noticed, I don't even think I can make a video if I'm on like zero or one or two days of Seamer Attention. You literally just feel like pathetic. <laughs> you don't have the confidence to even go on camera. So I'm like almost 20 days now, so I'm good. But this video is, I'm gonna try to make it short and sweet. It's 100 girls, talking to 100 girls. But first, Jesus Christ is King. Jesus Christ is Lord. If you believe in Jesus Christ, you will be saved. That's far more important than any girls that I'm gonna be talking about. And you know, it's like, don't let a good opportunity go to waste. <laughs> it's like clickbait, like, oh, 100 girl. You know, there's gonna be a bunch of guys like, oh, 100 girl, what you, how? Let me see how you, boom. Get hit with the truth, the facts that Jesus Christ is God. We didn't spawn some from, we didn't spawn from some uh, pond diarrhea and swim up tadpoles and then turn into monkeys and turn into humans. That's dumb nonsense. You've been deceived if you believe that. If you research into Jesus Christ, you'll you'll discover what the truth is. So do that if you want to discover the most important truth. And it ties into this because Jesus says one man, one woman. And here I am talking to dozens, hundred plus really. And I'll post the screenshots. Um, but yeah, so a hundred women, let me just get right into it. I had to, I had to just put you on Jesus. I'm not gonna let any video go to waste where I don't talk about Jesus because I'm not going to waste that opportunity to help people discover the <laughs> significant, important truth. And besides, this whole talking to a bunch of women, I'm going to get into why that's not the best thing to do anyway. Um, but also, so I was taking a couple weeks off this, like I'll post screenshots, but these are actually from like a couple weeks ago. So sometimes I'll make a video and I'll just keep it in the vault or sometimes I'll have a video idea. I just won't film it or whatever. So this is almost like a delayed video actually, but cause I'm not actually talking to a lot of these girls anymore, but, but let's just get right into it. And let me turn the, now it's too hot. It's getting cold out. You turn the heat on and then it gets too hot inside. But, but yeah, so basically, a little, a little uh, rundown. I was not talking to any girls at all for the last year. I moved out of Hawaii last year. I moved over to the East Coast. And ever since returning here, I have not really talked to like any girls like that. And, you know, I had a couple times when I met up with a girl, I hooked up with a girl a couple times here and there this year. But other than that, it was like, yo, there was no like communication. I like, I wasn't talking to girls at all. I wasn't dating girls, whatever. I had a couple little slip ups, you know, here and there, hookups. But other than that, I haven't been talking to girls at all. So I've almost felt lonely. Like I've literally felt lonely this whole year because I haven't even been hanging out with friends. I haven't been hanging out with friends, really socializing, dating, talking to girls none of that and then suddenly now all of a sudden dude I'm talking to like a hundred plus girls but this is like I said this is like two weeks ago it's since died down I was gonna do a separate video but I'll just put it in this video because in the moment I was like yo I'm talking to a hundred girls but then you know a couple weeks went by and I was gonna do a separate video I left a hundred girls on red because <laughs> that's basically what I've done and I'm gonna show you some screenshots just so you can see. But basically, the way that I'm talking to a bunch of girls is Tinder. Now, I've always said Tinder's trash. Tinder is trash, it's garbage. 
And so that's why I don't, I don't even um, advise you to go on there. But here's the kicker. See, I thought Tinder was just garbage. It's the same. It's, it's not good woman, whatever. But yo, there's, there's something you don't know about Tinder where it's a whole different ball game. And that's Tinder in other countries. So yo, I've matched, like I got on Tinder, right? And this was after I relapsed with this Dominican Puerto Rican girl. Maybe she just triggered it all. But I relapsed with this Dominican Puerto Rican girl on like 120 days or something like that of semen retention. And that's what one of my last videos was about. Sex on semen retention is insane or something like that. But after her, this is why it's a very dangerous game to think you can have sex on semen retention and then just go right back on a big street. Cause yo, weeks following that, that encounter, I was struggling. Like I was struggling. I met up with multiple girls and I was just like, yo, I don't, why am I doing this? Like your whole mindset is different after you relapse. After you relapse, you are much more prone to relapse again and want to keep hooking up. <laughs> I mean, obviously, like if you hook up with a girl and you remember how amazing it feels, well, the flesh is very strong. It's, it's, that's why semen retention is so respectable and amazing and hard to do is because it's dang near impossible. I mean, every man you know they're not going 100 days without ejaculating. They're not going 100 days rejecting women when they could have her available. They're not doing that. So, oh man, this whole truck is trying to leave. Let me let him pass before I forget what I'm saying. Um, so, the quarterly earnings, <laughs> like make it look like I'm talking about finances and not penis and coming and stuff. But anyways, he can't hear me anyway. But anyway, back to what I was saying. When you relapse, you're much more prone to relapse again. So that's what I was doing. And I honestly didn't even really relapse that much. But I was, yo, I was swiping like crazy. And then here's, I don't want to ramble on for too long. But here's, here's the overall point of why and how I started talking to so many women. One, you get the confidence boost of getting a woman. After you get a woman, you're just like, yo, I got it like that. So I was having that aura, that confidence, and I was just like, all right, well, let's, you know. And of course, this girl, she starts not texting back. You know what I mean? It's like she loved it, and she was writing me paragraphs or whatever, and then the last I heard from her was like three weeks ago. She said, oh, I'm going to the Dominican for three weeks to get this surgery. And I'm like, all right. So I was expecting to see her again or something, but you know, so I don't hear from her. So then you start hitting up other girls. It's just a whole mess. But the point is I was on Tinder because of her. After relapse, I was like, dang, I want I want that again. You know, your, your flesh is weak when you're not on celibacy for a long period of time, especially because you start getting in the um, routine, you start getting in a routine and of, of relapsing basically. And like I said, I even relapsed that many times, maybe like six or seven ejaculations total. But, but yeah, so I'm on Tinder and I'm just like, I'm swiping and I'm getting a couple, like I've always gotten matches on Tinder but they've always been like, like mediocre. Like there's some cute girls, like, but for the most part, 90% of people you match with, you're not meeting up with them anyway. It's just, you match, you might talk to them a little bit and then it just fades off and dies off. It's a toxic, stupid place to date. With that being said, when you're horny and the only thing you're thinking of is some clapping some cheeks or some big booty, Latinas, well, what happens next? You go to the Dominican, <laughs> you know what I mean? This is the most secret sauce for anybody that actually wants like to be able to get woman. And I'm talking 
good looking woman, yo. Because I'll post some of the screenshots. Maybe you can see a little bit in the profile picture or what. But dude, these are top quality women. So what I did was I was so horny, it starts messing with your pockets. Because you run out of swipes. I'm just like, dang, I want to keep swiping. These girls are lame anyway. So I saw this thing that said $10 for unlimited in a week and you could go anywhere. So I was just curious. I'm like, dude, this Dominican girl is like by far like the baddest girl like I've associated with recently. I'm, I want more of that. So I literally just paid this $10 and some people could think, oh, that's a waste. In reality, dude, you spend $20 going to the club just to look at people and get ignored and then go home. And then you spend $20 on drink. You spent $40 for nothing compared to $10 for for dozens of matches of batter women. Because here's, here's the thing. <laughs> Yo, the Dominican woman, I'm going to just say this. The, the the average Dominican woman is literally like finding a 10 here in America. The average Dominican woman is like finding a 10 here in America. And I'll just use Tinder itself. Like I said, I'm swiping. You get, ah, eh, they're all right, whatever. She's cute. Oh, she's pretty nice, but she looks like whatever oh she's not but you like it's like dude i'm telling you i'm telling you dude hawaii was the same way maybe it's just the area i'm in but dude the woman the american woman you could literally just check on tinder swipe on these american women they're fat they're multiple baby daddies they're just it's just not good looking dude i'm sorry it's just the average american woman is nowhere near as attractive as the average dominican woman that's all i'm gonna say so right off the bat the pool your your dating pool you're looking at is way better quality woman and it's my type maybe it's just me too i like curves dude i like brown skin curves i've always liked that I'm sorry, black woman. I'm sorry, white woman. That doesn't mean I don't like black or white woman. I'm just saying my, like, preference is, like, a mixed Middle Eastern, Caribbean, Latina type woman. A foreign woman, as they, as they call it. That is by far, like, my number one favorite type of woman. And then here's the thing. They all cook and clean, dude. It's part of their culture, dude. You tell a girl cook and clean in America, they'll have this stupid feminist mindset. Yo, you tell a girl cook and clean in Dominican, she says, when and where? <laughs> like, their parents literally, like, their mom will spank them if they don't cook and clean properly. It's ingrained in their culture to be actual women. They're not feminized by this American, uh, uh, feminism garbage so the woman it's just higher quality woman so i'm sitting there and here's the craziest thing of all and i'll show you the screenshots wherever i'll edit this the woman yo maybe it's just me i don't know if you could have the same luck going there or whatever but yo they i'm sitting there like i've never experienced this in my life and i've bought I've bought the Tinder thing before. I've just never went, I've never put the location in the Dominican. Yo, it's like maybe I've meant to be in the Dominican all along. That's where my family's from. In fact, look at this hat right here. You know what I mean? It's like, yo, I'm like, yo, cause I went to Hawaii and Hawaii, first of all, they're literally racist towards people who aren't from there. And I got assaulted three times there. And it's three times more expensive. You could get a little condo in Hawaii for 400, 500,000, dude. You could get the same type of condo with better beaches and better women in the Dominican for 100,000. What in the world was I doing going to Hawaii? I should have just went to the Dominican. I could have bought multiple properties cash. But that's what I'm doing going forward. Next year, mark my words. I'm buying a property in the Dominican Republic. 
And it's not because of matching with a bunch of women. It's just because that actually helped me realize, yo, the Dominican is the spot. But this video is particularly about the hundred a woman. Dude, I've never seen anything like that. Like I said, I've done the unlimited likes thing before and you get a couple more likes. I really, the whole thing is a scam, dude. Because as soon as that $10 ran out, dude, I wasn't getting any likes. I was like, what? But obviously it's a scam. Like they don't, like, because they'll say, oh, you have 13 matches. And then I'm sitting there. I'm like, all right, well, where are they at? They don't show you the matches unless you pay for it. Like, they don't, I don't know how the algorithm works, but it's clearly a scam. It's honestly pretty stupid anyway. But here's the thing. Like I said, the caveat, Tinder in Dominican is different than Tinder in America. This is a whole different country. It's a whole different culture. So a lot of women on there, I would imagine they're not wife material, but I met one girl on there. She's a virgin. I met other girls. Like A lot of them believe in God. That's the thing. In the Dominican Republic, it is the only country in the world who has the Bible and the cross on the flag. They are a Christian nation. So that alone just makes me want to move there because America is not no Christian nation. Especially with Biden and Kamala in there. Let me not get political. I'll, I'm going to touch on those clowns in other videos. But it's literally a different culture. Like I'll just, and it's so much easier to talk to these type of women, I'm telling you. It's just a, hola, que lo que, mami, como estas? And they'll say, amor, is it, hola, mi amor. Dude, I'm telling you, I'll just post on the screenshot. You just see it for yourself. Dude, these girls are, they're talking to me first. I said, I like, I'm not, I was gonna say like, dude, I'm not gonna reveal this to everybody else because I don't want them to like, you know? <laughs> I don't want it to be like, where it loses its its secrecy or value or whatever. But honestly, even if I tell people the sauce, the secret that you could just go to the Dominican and you're gonna have way better luck with dating women, it's not like people are just gonna hop on a flight and be able to go over there anyway. So I, I could tell you no problem. It's not like there's gonna be a bunch of competition. You still got it. Like I've told people for years, invest in crypto and you can get rich. Like telling them all the time and they just, oh, well, well, it's confusing. I don't, isn't it risky? <laughs> They're stupid. Most people are stupid. That's the reality. And most people are not action takers. They don't take action in anything. Dating, business, finance, investing, whatever. They don't do what's necessary to have success. So even if I tell people, dude, I know, believe me, I'm good looking and even I struggle with dating in America. Just go to the Dominican and all your problems are solved. <laughs> like I could, I, I could tell somebody that and they're not, you know, they might not believe it or whatever, but, but for me, I know I've discovered what I need to do, dude. I literally think all along that I've just met to have a Dominican wife. I, it's literally my type. The women are, oh man, they're so curvy. Like every single one is like above average from the average American woman. Like, dude, I'm not making this up. If you go out, like to see a 10 here in America, unless you're like in Miami or LA or New York City or something like that, I'm talking, I'm not talking about the three major cities like Miami, New York, LA. I'm talking about anywhere else in the country. The average woman to find like a dime, a 10, it's almost like, it's literally almost like, whoa, you have to go to the club. You have to go to the club where a bunch of women are just purposely going and whatever. And then maybe you'll be like, oh, whoa, that girl looks good. And you have to drive 30 minutes to the club, whatever. Your chances of seeing like a grocery store clerk or some random like 10 in the Walmart or wherever, the chances are way lower here in the Dominican. Dude, everywhere you turn, you see a baddie. You're just like, whoa. Like, they naturally are beautiful. And that's why it's just like, it blows my mind. Because even in Hawaii, it's the same type of effect, but to a lesser degree. I went to Waikiki. If you're ever in Waikiki, I challenge you, go to the Ala Moana Mall and try and not see a good looking woman, it's not possible. 
<laughs> I went to that mall like 50 times for being in that island. Every single time I went to that mall, I always saw multiple dimes, good looking women. Even the Target, I'll use the Target as an example. You go to Target in Waikiki, you will always see, there was not a single time I went just grocery shopping for in Target that I didn't see a baddie, a good looking girl. Dude, I come here and I'm just like, bro, where are all the good looking women at? This is insane. But Dominican is even, it's like Waikiki on steroids, dude. And here's the thing. I'm pretty sure I had like the unlimited likes in Waikiki. And I honestly wasn't, I got some matches, but it, it was almost the same. It was like, eh, this is maybe you get 15, 20 matches. And then you get a couple decent looking girls, whatever. Dude, I'm telling you, if I go to the Dominican, like I was only there, like dude, in um, the Carolinas, that's where I'm at. I was swiping for maybe like a week, literally a week. And I got like 15 matches, something like that. And you know, half of them are like, eh, whatever. The other half are like, yeah, you know, it's, it's just like they're average basically. Dude, I paid the $10. I said, all right, get me out of this America crap. Let me see what's, what Dominican's working with. I put the location in the Dominican. Dude, I've never seen nothing like it, bro. I said, boom, dring, boom, dring, boom, dring, boom, dring. Dude, it was matches nonstop. The most matches I ever got in my entire life in one day. More than all the days combined. And these are above average women compared to the American women. And they cook and clean and they have a belief in God. Are you kidding me? What am I doing in this country? <laughs> it's like, dude, I'm always like, why can't I attract the like, why can't I find a wife? Like I have no problem like raising up a girl like once I know, like once I meet her, they fall in love easily. I could easily make them fall in love. The problem is meeting them to begin with. It's like, where do I find them? That's always been my problem here. So that's the, why, and I'm not a social guy. I don't go to clubs or bars. It's the only reason I got on these apps is because I'm not a social person. So it's either you're not gonna meet anyone ever because you don't go out and socialize or you're gonna get on these apps and maybe try and get a unicorn on there. Not a good way to do it. But in the Dominican, your odds of finding a, good woman on the apps are much higher because it's a whole different type of culture over there over here it's it's just different y'all i'm telling you it's different in a multitude of ways but the dominican is better and here's the thing though because i'll wrap all this up i was talking up on these dominican women and whatever but now i'm gonna wrap bring this back around and to the point i was saying of how i'm not even responding to half of these girls and here's the reason <laughs> ain't nobody got time for that yo and it, it all made sense it all made sense i literally was feeling how the girls feel every single girl in a it doesn't matter location if you're a female and you get on the dating apps you're gonna get dozens of matches dozens so i as a man i literally felt how the girls feel where you have so many matches that you're just like, dude, I can't respond to all these. So if you're messaging a girl online, you might think, oh, why why didn't this girl text back? I thought we were having a good convo, or I thought she liked me, or she super liked me, or whatever. Why'd she stop talking? What? Dude, you're just a drop in the ocean. She literally could probably just not have time. Like, it's literally like celebrity type stuff. Like. I've always said, I was like, yo, if I ever get famous, I'm still gonna reply to everybody's comments. I'm like, no, you're not, dude. <laughs> like, like, dude, it's literally, it is literally physically impossible to reply to every comment. If there's 2,000 comments, you're not responding to every one unless you wanna spend 18 hours of your day trying to do that. It's, it's physically not possible. So talking to a bunch of these women is the same way. And then I'm, this is a good way for me to learn Spanish, but I'm not fluent, so I've got to translate it anyway. 
So I'm seeing all these women and I'm just like, dude, it gets overwhelming. And that's what, it brings me back to the fact that Jesus is correct, dude. And what did King Solomon say? He said, I've seen all the things done under the sun. They are meaningless, like a chasing after the wind. King Solomon had a thousand women. A thousand women. And what did he end up saying? And what was his story end up being? What happened to King Solomon? He had so many women, he just he couldn't take it. He started worshiping their gods and their idols just to please the woman. This wife, one of 700 over here from this tribe or wherever, this location, they say, oh, we worship this sun god or whatever. Can we please, can we please just put a statue for my god in your temple or whatever? And Solomon's just like, oh, I guess. So he turned away from the one true living god to cater to these women's false gods. And basically he himself said, he's like, that's all vanity. That's not, that's not the way. Following Jesus's standard for love is the way. One man, one woman. And that's what I've always wanted. And it's been verified by talking to all these women because when you have a hundred women, 50 women, 20 women, it's like, dude, you can't talk to all of them at once. Like, dude, that's not sustainable. So literally after, there was a week straight where I was literally like, oh my God, you go through that honeymoon phase of like, whoa, dude, I got like 10 more matches. I, I just, it's 10 more matches in a day. Like it's only lunchtime or whatever. Like you're just getting matches back and they're all just like, dang, she's cute. Dang, she's bad. Dang, she's pretty. And then it's so much easier to talk to them. You say, hola, hermosa. Mi amor, como estas? <laughs> it's way more easier than, hi, how are you? English is so boring compared to Spanish, dude. But, but basically what I learned most is that, dude, this is not, it is not like, like if you think like, oh, like if I only had a bunch of women, like I would just be, a, I would be sad. Dude, it's not, it's not sustainable. But here's the thing though, here is the thing. And I've always made this mistake in the past, but I've realized, I said, screw it. I'm doing things my way from here on out. I'm not trying to cater to some romantic fantasy and hoping a woman is the same way. And here's what I'm referring to. In the past, I've always had the mindset, I've always been super monogamous, but even before dating, even before like officially dating, I would be, I would cut every woman off. Like if I liked a girl and I started talking to her, out of respect and loyalty to her, I would be like, oh, I'm, I'm not talking to any other girl. But you soon find out, and I'll break the news for you in case you didn't realize, every single woman that exists, I'll confidently say this, every single woman that exists is already currently talking to a man. Hey, you might not think that, you might not know that, but that is the truth. Now the problem with me and a lot of other men, because men do not have options like women have, unless of course you look like me and you go to Tinder, the Dominican, apparently you get like a hundred matches. But the average man, they don't have anywhere near as many options as a woman. So when they do meet a woman, it's much more easy for them to just be like, oh, well, this is the one. Like, I'm not gonna waste my time with it. Let's focus on this one and be loyal to her and whatever. The woman, they have so many options. It's almost impossible for them not to be talking to at least one guy. And that could be friends, that could be whatever. But let's be real, bro. <laughs> Us men, we know what time it is. <laughs> you know what I mean? We know what time it is. This whole, oh man, oh no, we're just friends. If you're allowing a woman to go hang out with just friends, you're a cuck, period. So <laughs> that's always been my mentality is because I wouldn't be I wouldn't be hanging out with other girls. So the girl I'm dating with, I expect it to be mutual. But a lot of times you find out, oh, she's talking to other guys. And for me personally, that's when I cut her off. 
I've lost a lot of women where I cut her off because of one itis. Like I had only her on my mind, only her in my phone. And then you find out, oh, she's hanging out with some other dude, or oh, she's texting some other guy or whatever. And then you just feel like, oh, the feeling's not mutual, screw you. In reality, here's a better way to go about it. You just talk to multiple women. It's such an easier, you cannot get one-itis. Men literally kill themselves because of that. They talk to one girl, they go all in on one girl. They have no other woman they're talking to at all. And then when that girl breaks her heart, their whole life is broken because they put their whole life into that girl. I noticed this by talking to multiple, like right now, consistently, I'll just tell you for context, I'm talking to about seven girls. So some could say, oh, I have seven girlfriends. That's a crazy thing to say, dude. I've never actually ever had this. I've always, like I said, it's been one girl. And you know, a couple of times I had two, one time I had two girls and it messed it up because the girl saw me post with the other girl and then the other girl got mad and then the other girl ended up going away anyway. So I lost them both. But but basically, I mean, you don't have to post it. You know, you just don't try to make the other girl jealous or anything like that. But like right now, I'm talking to like seven to 10 girls, like consistently. And that's narrowing down. It's like, dude, it's, it, even that, dude, is too much for me. There's about three that I'm talking to like every day from the Dominican, but it was like seven to 10. But even then I'm just like, dude, I just, dude, I can't do it, dude, it's too much. Um, it's just too overwhelming, it's too time consuming. Cause that's what I was gonna say. I'm all over the place, I'm suffering with withdrawals right now. Please excuse me. I have, dude, I have such a bad weed addiction. That's another reason I was like, oh, maybe I'll move to Dominican. That'll finally heal my weed addiction. Cause it's like illegal there. They don't like, here they sell it in the stores over there it's like you know it's more serious so maybe then i'll finally stop but bear with me i'm almost i'm gonna wrap this up but basically i'm like dude even seven to ten girls i'm like dude i can't do that because you're writing and like i'm already like like that's what i was gonna say a week went by where i was literally like i was responding to a bunch of them and then literally i was just like dude what the f I can't take this anymore. I said, I can't not take this anymore. And that was my last relapse. I relapsed and I felt stupid. I said, dude, I'm done with this stupid thing. And I just removed the app. And then by the time I got back on, that's when the I just left a bunch on red. Literally, it was like 50 to 70 girls. It, Cause it'll say on Tinder, it'll say your turn. Like I got on there and I was strolling and she said, your turn, your turn, your turn. I said, heck no, bro, I can't respond to all that. But dude, this all is basically a lesson that if you think this Dan Bilzerian lifestyle or Andrew Tate lifestyle where they're like, oh, we want like 20 women or at once or whatever. If you think that's like the ultimate fulfilling thing I'm here to tell you and reiterate what King Solomon, the wisest, richest man ever, already reiterated thousands of years ago. That's not it, chief. It's not fulfilling. Sure, does it feel cool? And does it allow your confidence to be increased? Absolutely. But like a long-term sustainable thing, like, dude, that's not, I'm telling you, that's not even... Like, I don't get how celebrities do. I don't get how celebrities don't get overwhelmed. Like, Chris Brown, Leonardo DiCaprio, Dre, whoever. These, like, big celebrities that probably have a bunch of DMs. Like, dude, it's just over. Like, I had that sort of celebrity-type treatment. All I need to do is go to the DR, and I'll basically be a celebrity. They might put a hurricane warning when I step foot there. <laughs> You know, it's a massive flooding incoming. Prepare. Hurricane level seven. <laughs> Apparently, Dominican women love me, yo. And, dude, if I get on a high street, get, I might go there next month, do some vlogs. Yo, I'm telling you, all I needed was I needed a little break. And, really, I need to get sober because I'll smoke and I just won't make videos, dude. That's honestly, that's honestly the main problem in my life. It's not even... Seamer attention, like seamer attention. I'm good. Like I'm already, I'm good. I had some slip ups, 
but that's that's really not difficult for me to go a week and then two weeks and then just keep it going the weed thing is so difficult for me to stop dude i think it's her her heretical though because my dad's alcoholic he has addictive genes my brother vapes all the time my sister vapes all the time me i smoke the little thc vape all the time so i think it's literally like hereditary i think it's passed down unfortunately there are like curses that are passed down from family members so i think that's just in my genes because i'm sitting here like trying to stop for months on end and i just can't stop the weed dude but at the same time you know i'm gonna try my best but i don't want to make this video too long but this one, I did have a lot to say. I've been gone for like, what, a month? And yeah, I've just been grinding. I've been in a in a relapse state for the first couple of weeks and just going back to those old ways of like, whoa, like, let me try to swipe there, swipe, get this girl, that girl, that. But I match with a lot of girls in Dominican. I mean, dude, honestly, if I move to Dominican, dude, that might actually be dangerous, dude. I mean, that might be dangerous. I mean, Man, I'm, I'm speechless, dude. I'm speechless that because that never happened to me ever, dude. I, I put it in Miami. I put it in LA. I put it in Waikiki. I put it in wherever, dude. I never got the amount of matches from the amount of good looking, higher quality women that I got compared to putting it in the Dominican, dude. It is insane. So that is a secret. I'm going to give you the sauce. I'm going to give you the tips. What you do with it, that's on you. If you want higher quality women, it is very easy to do so by simply going to the Dominican Republic. They are the most beautiful woman on the planet. I'll say it. And, you know, since I'm half Dominican, I'll say we're just the most beautiful people on the planet. How about that? <laughs> but it's like, dude. Oh my God, I'm gonna do separate videos because I'm, I'm gonna do separate videos about why like Dominican is just, dude, it is the spot, dude. I mean, dude, Waikiki, I moved to Waikiki with $850,000. My whole entire goal was to buy a property there. The market crashed as soon as I got there and the real estate's so expensive, I just, I couldn't get one. A house, just a little house is a million minimum. Dude, in the DR, you could get a mansion right near the beach for eight hundred thousand. A mansion in Hawaii that would cost five million. So it's there's it's a no brainer for me to move to the Dominican. Like I said, in Hawaii they have like a disdainment towards white people or white looking people. <laughs> That's a crazy thing. I'm not even. Like I have no history of slavery at all. My ancestors were the first slaves. Columbus landed in Dominican. So my ancestors were the first slaves. And then from my mom's side, Irish and Scottish, they migrated long after slavery. So I, my ancestry has absolutely nothing to do with slavery or any of that. I was a victim of slavery in my ancestry. But the ignorance of racist people is they don't care. In Hawaii, they say, oh, that's white, that's a Howley. Let's beat them up, let's jump them, let's cuss at them, whatever. I got assaulted three times there. They don't like white people or American people. In the Dominican, dude, it's the opposite. These women, I'm telling you, they love gringos, dude. And then when I say, oh, I'm, I am, soy Dominicano, I am Dominican. They, they literally like whiter people. Like in Sammy Sosa, he's black. He did the Michael Jackson on purpose. <laughs> Dude, you could do a Sammy Sosa before, after. He literally looks like he turned into white. So white is right, <laughs> you know, in Dominican. Like they don't care. They're not gonna be like, oh, you're not from here. Get off our islands. Like they do in Hawaii. Who wants to be around that hateful type of vibes? And I'm not saying everybody's like that in Hawaii. The people that are actually with the Aloha spirit, they're a vibe. They're super nice, super friendly. But the weird racist people, it just ruins it for the islands. And then the high cost of living, the Democrat policies, that garbage, it's a mess. The Dominican, dude, I'm telling you, it is the 
country of the future. I'm just gonna get rich in crypto and buy a bunch of real estate in the Dominican and meet a wife. Like I said, in the meantime, I'll entertain five to 10 girls, whatever. If I get serious with a girl, I'm not gonna still like be, you know what I mean? But it's like up until I'm serious with a girl, dude, I'm not cutting off every girl and just having one itis with one girl. Dude, you're confident everything is just better when you have multiple women to fall back on. And, but yeah, but anyways, a hundred women. I'm subtly talking to a hundred women. Now, this title was basically for a couple weeks ago because updating it to present time a couple weeks after, basically the title maybe should be updated. I left a bunch of, a dozens of girls on red because it's too overwhelming to date that many women. But it's just crazy because I went from not talking to any woman at all, I'm telling you, all of 2024, like I literally just had like one little girl pop up to relapse and then that was it. And then I had this Dominican girl and like, and then it was a little downhill after that for, for a week or two. But I was not talking to any, I was almost like, yo, dang dude, do I still got it like with women? Like I was almost questioning, like I was so far gone from talking to a woman that I was like, do I still got it like that? Dude, I was quickly reminded, holy crap, dude. I'm, I'm just in the wrong place. The right guy, the wrong place. In the Dominican, I'm basically a king, dude. I'm basically Dan Bilzerian in the Dominican. A hundred matches? Dude, that's crazy, and they're all, at first, they all talk, and then, you know, I don't reply, and then it's just like, you know, you're not gonna keep up 100 girls, but originally, it was, dude, I'm telling you, you can see the screenshots. Yo. <laughs> I'm, I'm done with this video, but I'm back. I'm back on SR, I'm back making videos. I'm gonna do all types of videos. This is a dated video, but I'm gonna do po politics, religion, apologetics, like I said. You bring him in with the title and then you boom, you hit him with the truth facts. Jesus Christ is Lord. And Jesus said, one man, one woman. That's still what I desire. <laughs> you know, I don't desire to deviate from God's perfect standard. Jesus standard for love and romance and marriage is perfect. Those who follow the standard that Jesus sets forth uh, romantically, it is not possible to fail. It's like a math equation. One plus one equals two. So you cannot fail if you follow God's standard. The only way that you fail in a godly marriage is if one or either party deviates from God's standard. But the standard he sets itself is perfect. You cannot fail. But with that being said, be wary on these, on these apps, dude, because yes, I made a lot of uh, matches on this app but like I said dude, the Dominican women are different than American women I would argue you shouldn't even waste your time on tinder in America at all and that's the crazy thing I once I did all this and the ten dollars ran out I swipe back in America dude I don't get any matches and they're all almost all fake profiles I'm just like dude what is how is this I don't even remember it being this bad years ago but it's literally I'm just like fake 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 it's like the same three photos. I'm just like, dude, what are all these fake profiles? How does this garbage app not filter that out? But anyways, yeah, I'm out for now. I said, oh, this is gonna be a short video. Yeah, right, dang near hour. Now I'm gonna have to edit it, <laughs> but oh well. I'm gonna catch y'all later. I'm gonna have more videos coming. Yeah, Dominican woman, man, watch out, man, watch out. I'm, I'm out, I'm out.